Hey Sammy fam, so we are down in Brooklyn Bridge Park today. Came down here to get some of everyone's favorite wintertime food, lobster rolls. But I know actually the real reason is because it's cold out today. Um, so the, this area is usually like insta thought capital of the world. So today there's almost no one here and it's just me, your favorite. YouTube whore yeah. coming out here to take advantage of the beautiful views and the delicious food. So thank you for joining me. Let's go get our grub on. Can I get a white truffle lobster roll, a lobster grilled cheese, a crab grilled cheese, and a shrimp roll? I'm trying to put us to work today, see? Okay, so I ended up ordering probably way too much food. I got a lobster roll, a shrimp roll, a lobster grilled cheese, and a crab grilled cheese. Uh, they had like lobster mac and cheese, but I didn't want to, you know, spend my money on pasta carbs. Oh, also, we're walking by this lemonade stand. Years ago, like when I first moved to New York, nine years ago, that was a bathroom, so I never buy lemonade there because it grosses me out. But let's go find a nice place to sit. There are usually all these tables down here. That's where I filmed my uh, Shake Shack in the Park video, like a year or two years ago, I think. So I've got gooey. Food cheese. But I guess they put them all away for the winter. So we have to go down to the picnic area. God damn it, motherfucker. I forgot napkins again. This, why is this what I do every time? We made it. Sorry that was a bit of a walk, guys. It's hard to find a place to sit, but now we're here in the picnic area. Let's get our Luke's lobster out. You always gotta roll with the reusable bag now here in uh, New York City, because we have a plastic band, bag band, plastic bag band. Sit on it so it doesn't blow away. I haven't had Luke's lobster in so long, they gave me a free pickle, which I guess is nice. Forgot napkins. It's okay. Oh my god, I got too much food. Oh, she gave me another pickle too. I got two pickles. Wow. Now I have to sit on this too, so it doesn't blow away either. Even though it's biodegradable, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. But I still feel like a bad litter bug that I didn't recycle it. Oh, it's like a cushion. Okie dokie. Oh, their grilled cheese are... Oh, I thought it was like only half of grilled cheese because the way it was packed. But it's a stacked. That looks like lobster. This is definitely crab. This is the lobster truffle. And this, of course, is shrimp. The shrimp is like the cheapest thing here, but low-key, I've had it before, it might be the best. We'll see, this is like the winter menu. The, the truffle thing is not normal. They usually don't have that, nor the grilled cheese. That's their winter options. Uh, I feel bad for this location because it's in a park that doesn't see a lot of traffic in the winter, as you guys saw as we walked through. I'm just cleaning my palate with a pickle. Because I walked like five miles to get here. So my mouth just tastes kind of dry. You know, that feeling that develops in there after just being dry for a while. It's nasty, like morning breath kind of. So this will clean that right out. Mm. It's a good pickle. Not that we're here to review pickles, but I do enjoy a nice pickle. Well, now this is plastic. I really can't let that blow away. 
Oh man, this is so hard. You have to be so environmentally conscious. Let's go with, well, the grilled cheeses are, should be kind of hot. So let's go with that first. This is the crab grilled cheese. Looks good, nicely toasted. A lot of crab on there. They're not simping out. Mmm. And they're like, they use a special butter. Um, I actually filmed an owner, I filmed a video with the owner, Luke, before. Um, when I worked for a business magazine. And they showed me like assembling all the different dishes. And they have the special like lemon herb butter that they squirt on everything. It's so good, it's making the sandwich amazing. And there's so much meat on here. It makes me feel like the $63 I paid for all of this is well worth it. Mm. Especially in this nice environment. Like who would ask for something it's quiet? You know what, today it's not actually too cold. It's like in the 40s or 50s. It's just not too windy. There's not many people around other than the kids who are skipping school because they don't want to get COVID-19. And all the adults who are working from home. Which I do. I mean, I quote work from home. I have no quotes around from home. This park is like so peaceful and chill in the winter. In the summer, it's nice too. And there's more food vendors, and it's fun to see everybody hanging out and the grills active. People have parties here all the time. But like in the winter in New York City, it's like my little city because no one else is going out that much. And I get to have things for myself. Mm. Let's mix it up. Let's do a lobster. I'm going to consolidate these boxes. There we go. Throw a pickle in here. The lobster has a more of an oceany taste. It's really good. I might prefer the crab though. And that's often my take on lobster versus crab, is that crab has more flavor to it. Um, even though it's you know, the cheaper or less desirable meat sometimes. I'm really my favorite kind of crab meat is the, the fattier dark crab meat that they'll sell you for a third of the price usually as like the big white claw meat. But the dark crab meat has a fishier, fattier, fuller flavor. And I think it's great for sandwiches. I think it's great for um, making, you know, a crabby patty, a, uh, a crab burger or something. What's the word for that? Crab cake. Which, guys, make your crab cake in your air fryer if you have one, or bake it. But frying it in oil, crab just like takes up the flavors of other foods, and you end up having an oily, oil tasting thing, which is okay. But if you fry it in air, or you bake it, it just tastes like crab, and it's fantastic. And you save yourself like, you know, hundreds of calories. Wow. This lobster is super good though, like I'm not complaining about it. And the lobster roll with the truffle will be even more amazing. I'm going to save that though. I'm wishing I had bought a drink, but I didn't want to carry it. For the shrimp that they dust with their special herb powder, which I don't know what it is. I forgot from when I filmed with them a while back. I'll put the pickle in here to hold this down. It's a, a balancing act. Mm. getting some weird stairs. Oh man, guys, look at how crunchy this bun is. And I just dropped a shrimp. That's a snack for a seagull. The, shrimp, the shrimp's already my favorite. The cheapest one. I love these little tiny shrimp. I never can find these little tiny shrimp in the store to make stuff with them at home. Mm. I only see them on lobster rolls. Wow, it's so good. Or in like cheap Chinese, uh, Chinese American food, you know, they always put it in 
if you order lobster lo mein or something, you get the little tiny shrimp in there. Oh my god, and it's so buttery too. Like the bun is so buttery. The brioche bun. Ooh, a child just tried to approach me. But the parents wisely pulled them away. Don't, don't, don't go towards the weird man, they probably said. But I don't know, because I don't know Hebrew. Happy Purim. I'm filming this the day after Purim. So I think everybody's like still on holiday. I don't know how it works. There were a lot of people in Halloween costumes yesterday. Or as Purim costumes. I shouldn't be so Western centric. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, so buttery, so good. So buttery though, I understand. When she asked me if I wanted pickles, I was like, uh, I guess so like it's free it's free food yes i want it but now i understand why because all the butter you want this like acidity to cut the fat of everything mm. it really super helps the only annoying thing about this park is that the helicopter tours take off uh, right on the other side of the east river here from lower manhattan would you come to New York City? Do not do a helicopter tour. First off, you might die. Second off, it's like $800 for 20 minutes. It's not worth it. Um, you should just take the subway somewhere with a pretty view, like uh, Brooklyn Promenade, which is right over there, or just come to this park and walk around. That's beautiful. You can go up to the top of the Empire State Building, the top of the um, top of the Rock, 30 Rock. You can go to the top of the World Trade Center. Any of those will give you a great view. They still can be kind of pricey, uh, but cheaper than 20 minutes in a helicopter. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Let's try. Ooh, excuse me. Broken. The lobster truffle. I was going to save it for last, but I really want to taste it. Mmm. Mm. some good truffle oil mixed in with that butter there I love how the inside of the bread you know soaks up all the juices and gets a little soft but the outside stays crispy mm. man it's a toss up the shrimp is just so good but If you're eating with your eyes too, the lobster is so beautiful. And I'm a sucker for truffle. Man. It's making me want lobster pizza, actually. Lobster truffle cheese sauce pizza, yes. Yesterday I made a homemade cheese sauce for a sandwich. Um, spicy shrimp sandwich, shrimp was seasoned with Chipotle powder, smoked paprika, cumin, cilantro, and then it had uh, red chopped cabbage mixed in with it, all cooked together. Put that in the sandwich, and I put a pepper jack cheese sauce I made from scratch, which is super simple. I know I need to do a video on it, but it's almost not worth it because it's butter, melt, flour, cook a minute in the butter, same amount of flour as butter, equal parts, cream. Let that simmer for a minute. Add your shredded cheese, take it off the heat, stir it up until the cheese is completely incorporated and melted, you're done. But pepper jack cheese and a few slices of white American to make it like extra creamy. I poured that over the sandwich, you know, it's a long open bun with the shrimp all in there. So good. I don't know what order I'm gonna publish these videos in, so either this is a reminder of a previous video I published or this is a teaser of an upcoming video. But if you haven't seen it either way, look out for it coming or go back and watch it if you missed it. I don't know. I'm gonna, try I'm gonna close with the pickle so I don't walk home with this fishy taste in my mouth forever. But we just had lobster, so that's the lobster one again. Let's go back to the crab. 
The crab looks less attractive, you know, it's that stringy crab meat, but... It tastes like heaven. Looks aren't all that's important. Mm. It's taste. Why, when you're dating, you should always ask to taste someone. Way more important than it looks. The only thing is, I am eating like a lot of soft textures now back to back. The pickle does give the trunk, that is nice. And it balances the fabulousness of everything. But I'd love, you know what, like crispy bacon on here. Or really I should have bought a side of chips. But that would have been fatty too. Vin oh, salt and vinegar chips, there you go. Crispy, vinegary, perfect. The acidity. That's why sides are important, but I need to save room for all this. I think I'm still gonna want dinner after this. It's not super filling. So beware, if you do come to Brooklyn Bridge Park or any of the Luke's Lobster locations, I think they're worldwide now. Though they started here in New York City. Um, treat it as a snack or a lunch or something you're gonna have to order a lot of food if you really want to fill up and like i said this was 63 dollars it's pretty expensive but you know it's expensive good ingredients that's why it tastes so damn good but trust my recommendation it's great food i've met the owner i know that he vets all their sources all the food comes straight off the boat is immediately immediately cooked that's the thing with like uh lobster and crab you don't want to pack it fresh and have with like dead meat being shipped raw they take it off the boat into a processing facility immediately like steam them because that's when they taste the best And then break it up and pack it to whatever you know specifications you want and ship it out and then the next day it'll be in the restaurant being served so really probably a large part of the expense you're paying is logistics of like shipping stuff super fast because it does not last wonders of the modern world although now i'm wondering about the carbon footprint of what i'm eating and i'm feeling kind of bad Let's go buy some trees after this. I've been thinking more and more about like charitable things we can do together. And I know I've tried to run uh, donation drives for like food charities in the past before to mix success. Mainly like I was the main donor and we got a few people um, to give some money. But thank you to everyone who did. But that was back when I had, you know, 10,000 subscribers. So I think now we could make a big more, a big more difference. God, that sounds like something Trump would say. We could make a bigly difference. Um, no, we could make a, a larger difference now that there are a lot more engaged people with the channel. And I appreciate that and I love you guys for that. So be on the lookout maybe around, probably around Christmas time seems like the right time to do it because we'll probably be close to the double the size we are now and more people will be in the spirit of giving. I'll be making more money at the time to give more as well. You know, I'm probably gonna be moving apartments at the time, but I think, I think we'll be okay. Um, so I'll seed the pot, put out a link to everybody, and it would be awesome to get some you know, astronomical number. Or just a little good, good number, I don't know. In the mid thousands, $10,000 or something. We could do that. If everybody gave a dollar right now, we'd feed so many people with $120,000. I'm just dreaming though, but that's what I hope to do. And food's good. As I spend $63 on my own meal, damn, I'm really good at making myself feel guilty about what I'm doing, aren't I? But in the end, we're going to do it for a bigger, better cause. It's selfishness for good. 
These pickles are really good. Ooh. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing around Brooklyn Bridge Park, one of my favorite places. Great place to come in the morning, watch the sun's sunset in the morning, sunrise in the morning. Take a walk. They got pizza and ice cream in the summer. They got Shake Shack. They got lobster crab. They got a carousel. They got beautiful water, soft, gentle sounds. Yeah, I love it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I didn't actually really need napkins. My hands are a little dirty, but I'm going to go down to the bathroom in the pizza place that's closed for the winter and wash up. Pick this up. Wait, I'm going to recycle this so I can't, I can't put the plastic in there. Oh, this is confusing. It's so hard to be a good ecologically minded person. It's not hard. A little bit of care, but it's worth it. Thank you, Loop Officer. I mean, thank you. I'm advertising for free for you. Actually, I paid $63 at whatever. Okay. Bye, guys. I love you.